three, two, one. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> he surprised me. <laughs> he's just he's on the go. <laughs> so I'm be I'm behind and I'm behind if uh, you've emailed or commented. So ask for your grace. We're behind and getting the video out this morning, but we're gonna be back on track starting tomorrow. Okay, you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay. Today is July thirtieth, two thousand twenty-three. The devotional is called constant salvation from 2 Corinthians 6 2 behold now is the accepted time behold now is the day of salvation uh, you're in 1 John 1 1 John 1 awesome the first epistle general of John that which was from the beginning which we have heard which we have seen with our eyes which we have looked upon and our hands have handled of the word of life for the life was manifested and we have seen it and bear witness and show unto you that eternal life which was with the father and was manifested unto us that which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us and truly our fellowship is with the father mm -hmm. and with his son jesus christ and these things write we unto you that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son cleanseth us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. That's good. Yeah. There are two processes of salvation. First, God helped you when the spirit was moving you and when the adversary, adversary, <laughs> it might be a long day today, folks. <laughs> when the adversary was against you, when your neighbors and friends did not want you to be saved and when everybody rose up in accusation against you, when you knew there was fighting on the outside and fighting within, he helped you. Mm -hmm. He covered you until you came into salvation. Second, he keeps you in the plan of his salvation. This is the day of salvation. The fact that you are being saved does not mean that you were not saved, but it means that you are being continually changed. Mm -hmm. In the process of regeneration, you are being made like God. You are being brought into the operation of the Spirit's power. You are being made like him. This is the day of salvation. God has helped you in a time when Satan would destroy you, and he is with you now. If we remain stationary, God has nothing for us. We must see that we must progress. Yesterday will not do for today. I must thank God for yesterday. However, tomorrow is affected by what I am today. Today is a day of inspiration and divine intuition. A day in which God is enrapt enrapturing the heart, breaking all shorelines, getting my heart to the place where it is responsive only to his cry, where I live and move honoring and glorifying God in the spirit. This is the day of the visitation of the Lord. This is the great day of salvation, a day of moving on for God. We will praise and magnify the Lord for he is worthy to be praised. He has helped us and now he is building us. Now he is changing us. Now we are in the operation of the Holy Spirit. Every day you must climb to higher ground. You must refuse everything that is not pure and holy and separate. God wants you to be pure in heart. He wants your intense desire after holiness. Thought for today, you must deny yourself in order to go forward with God. <laughs> that building process this is really good is exciting and a wee bit hard some days <laughs> yeah. yeah 
That's a really good word. Thank you for joining us. See you tomorrow.